Hi there! Greetings to all the empowered consumerism community here in the Philippines and all over the world. Welcome to another episode of Easy Talk. This is your international trainer, Miko Imson. Well, uh, I hope everything is fine to each and every one of you and I hope you are enjoying your time with your family, especially with what is happening all over the world with our enhanced community quarantine. Almost everyone is in lockdown. So uh, this uh, Easy Talks is actually a response of the Easy Management to the crisis that is happening today. So you move forward to online, to the technology, to the internet, so we can still send some messages, some tips, and some trainings to everyone so we can assure the business is still ongoing and the business will still continue for empowered consumerism. Well, uh, I'm very, very excited for you today because in fact, this is my first topic for the Easy Talk and uh, I believe this topic is very important. This topic is actually needed by everyone, especially in times of crisis like this. So also as a former nurse before I came into the industry of empowered consumerism, I had picked a topic today and I want to get into your space and to share to you this wonderful idea about mental health. So my topic is more about mental health and how it affects us, how mental health can greatly influence our life and our success. So are you ready? Alright, so let's start off on defining what mental health is really all about. So coming from a World Health Organization or WHO, according to them, mental health is a state of well-being in which the individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope up with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and of course, a person who is able to make a contribution to his or her own community. So, uh, ito yung pagkaka-describe ng World Health Organization about mental health. So basically, if you think about it, mental health is more about emotional, psychological, and social well-being of a person. So when you say emotional, it mostly uh, affects how you feel. And when you say psychological, it mostly affects how you think and how you respond or take an action on your thoughts. And when you say social well-being, it mostly affects uh, how you relate or how you connect to others. So as you can see, it is so important. It is very, very important. In fact, it's, it has a great role in the outcome of your life. And that's why it's so important, especially in times of crisis like this, because on your mental health, your mental stability also determines how you cope up with challenges, how you handle or how you respond to obstacles in life or crises. So uh, again, crucial ito ngayon. Importante yung malaman natin ito ngayon. And if you think about it, mental health basically encompasses everything. It, it encompasses all of the things that happens in your life. Everything, even in your past, your past achievements, your past mistakes, most of it is an outcome of the way you think. Even your current situation right now is actually an outcome of your thoughts. And of course, also, pati yung mangyayari sa'yo in the future, your future is really affected by your thinking right now. So, kung yayamang ka ba, kung maghihirap ka, if you're gonna be poor or rich, if you're gonna be healthy or you're gonna be sick or you'll be having a disease, yes, what you've heard is right. Even our body is greatly responding through our thoughts, through our mental health. Kaya, you need to be very, very careful about what you think, what you feed your mind. So if you've watched the previous videos of uh, Mr. Ariel de Guzman and Mr. Ian on our Easy Talk session that we had on our studio, as you can see, they've talked about physical fitness and physical health in boosting up your immune system. Yes, it's true. It's true that the exercise and moving your body can really boost up your immune system and a lack of activity can actually suppress your immune system. And I'm telling you, if body functions can actually affect your immune system, I am telling you, your mental health also greatly affects how your body moves. In fact, the truth and the fact is, our body moves from the command center of our central nervous system, from our mind. So nothing will happen in your body, nothing will move, your heart will not pump, your blood will not circulate if it will not be commanded by your central nervous system or your mind. So everything is being affected by your thoughts, by the way you think, by what you focus on, your attention on. So again, this process, I call this personal, this chain reaction, I call this personally the TEMO process. TEMO means thoughts, emotions, motions, and outcome. Meaning everything starts from your thinking, from your thoughts. From whatever you're thinking, from your thoughts, 
it will lead into emotions. Whatever you think about, you feel it. When you feel it, when you be it becomes an emotion, emotion is a triggering factor that leads to motion or action. And you take an action to it, it becomes a result or an outcome. It's called the TEMO process. So guys, when you say TEMO process, again, it is happening to us in different aspects in life, in health, in finances, in relationship. So if you can control your thoughts, you can control your outcome. If you have a negative thoughts, negative emotion, negative uh, uh, action or motion, then negative outcome. But if, this, if you have a positive thought, everything will be positive, everything will be in line in your desires and in your wants. So it's really true that whatever we see on the real plane or in the physical plane or physical state all started from our mental plane or our mental state. That's why you need to be very aware about what you consistently put or feed in your mind or what you consistently think about. Because like what Buddha says, what you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. And what you imagine, you create. So it's really true that we become what we think. Meaning, whatever you put your focus on, whatever you put your attention on, becomes a belief. And whatever you believe will manifest into your reality. It's not only Buddha that says that. Even in the Bible, there's a scripture in Joel 3 verse 10 saying that, Let the weak man say, I am strong. Let the poor man say, I am rich. So meaning when you believe, when you, when you think that you are rich, you are rich. When you think and believe that you are poor, then you are poor. But when you believe and think that you are strong, you are strong. No disease, no illness, no virus can come into you. Your thoughts, your mind is so powerful. In fact, mga ka-EC, bago mangyari itong Enhanced Security Quarantine or ECQ sa Pilipinas, uh, nung pwede pa yung mga mass gatherings and trainings, there was particular days na nagkaroon ako ng schedule sa head office or Ortigas and uh, I had some trainings and after that, nagkaroon ako ng mga meeting, closed door meetings, after meetings and for particular three straight days, tuloy-tuloy yun na um, every night pag uwi sa bahay, lahat ng laman ng Facebook, social media, it was bombarded by news about COVID-19, the virus, the sickness, the illness. There will be an imminent uh, lockdown kasi dumadami yung cases na nagkakasakit at namamatay. So, we are bombarded with negative news all over the information. So, you know what happened? The demo process happened to me. The demo chain reaction happened. Paano? My thought was clouded with the COVID-19 sickness and illness. And because my thought was worry, I'm worrying already, I'm thinking about worrying about sickness, the symptoms, I was checking out what are the symptoms, baka meron na ako, so I even doubted myself. So after that, from that thought, nagkaroon ng emotion, it leads to emotion, the demo process, the feeling of scared, the feeling of fear, the feeling of doubt. And after the emotion happened, guess what? My body responds. It moves. Nagkaroon ng motion yung cells ko. Nag-respond siya. My immunity kicks in. I had a runny nose. I had a constant headache. Daladala ko yun for two days. Kahit matulog ko for a few hours, may headache pa rin. And that became my outcome. So again, I'm telling you, whatever your thought is, whatever you focus on, becomes your reality. Your body will adjust it. Thank God na buti na lang is we are fully aware about the control of consciousness. That's why I want to share this to you. We are now aware about the power of awareness, the power of thoughts, the power of mind. And uh, thank God I was caught up by the, some things that needs to be done. Kaya I, I got become very busy to the business. Uh, nagkaroon ng meetings and management because of the lockdown. Uh, ng easy talk, uh, nagkaroon ng shooting sa studio, sa head office. So I got so busy about the business. I got so busy about easy talk. Me and my wife got busy to some some, some stuff like property. So we got so busy and uh, my mind shifted. My thoughts shifted. My awareness and consciousness shifted to a different things aside from the COVID-19. And because of that, guess what? Nung nalipat yung consciousness ko, nalipat yung awareness and yung thought ko, the runny nose, nawala. Yung constant headache, nawala. I feel strong as ever. I feel uh, healthy as ever. I have been. I, I can now do what, whatever I've been doing before. So now I went back and shifted my focus into nutrition, into supplementation, into my hydration, and... Uh, you know, as I woke up in the morning, I went back to exercise, to moving my body, 
I went back into uh, uh, meditation and prayer. So, by the way, sa mental health topics and ep next episodes natin, we will be also talking about, you know, meditation, how powerful it is, and basically, paano magsimula as a beginner in meditating. It's very important to kick off and start of your day. Actually, nangyari sa akin is uh, kamukha ng uh, phenomena that is called placebo effect. When you say placebo, it is like a treatment or a medicine that is fake. Na wala naman talagang clinical, uh, you know, study about the particular medicine or ginamit sa isang mga pasyente and making them believe that it's actually working for this particular uh, disease or pain and it was removed. It's actually working even though wala naman talagang laman dya. So, in fact, it's the, the most... Uh, you know, famous story about this placebo happened 1996 where 56 volunteers took part in, a, you know, study or testing a new painkiller called Trivaricane, you know. Ang ginawa ng mga doctors is uh, yung kumuha ng 56, 56 volunteers at yung index finger nila, yung isa, nilagyan ng Trivaricane. And then the other finger, wala. And then ang ginawa ng doctor, inipit siya ng clamp or inipit ng vice. Sobrang sakit. Out of the 56 volunteers, they reported a less pain on the finger na nilagyan ng Trivaricane. What's surprising about it is that the painkiller Trivaricane is just a brownish lotion, okay, that smells like medicine. Pero ang totoo, it's just a combination of water, iodine, and oil. Wala siyang ingredients na pain reliever or painkiller man lang. So imagine, but it works because the mind of those volunteers actually responds to the pain receptors. It commands at the pain receptors na hindi makaramdam ng pain kahit wala namang painkiller yun. That's placebo, meaning our body has its innate ability to actually heal itself. In fact, your mind can either, you know, boost up your immune system and be careful because your mind can also suppress your immune system because if there's a placebo effect on a positive note there is also what we call as nocebo effect on a negative note nocebo is the feeling of illness the feeling of sickness the feeling of disease the feeling of pain na kahit na wala namang clinical sign ng bacteria or virus pag kinlaut mo yung utak mo sa kakaisip ng sakit talaga na yung katawan mo magkakasakit that's the nocebo effect and uh, there's also a famous story about a builder, isang builder naman, construction worker, that accidentally jumped into a uh, 15 centimeter nail. Ganong kahabang nail. Imagine, it passed through and through to his steel boots. And you know what happened? Sobrang sakit, agonizing pain. So, easy ko siya sa sobrang pain. And sinugod siya sa hospital, sa ambulansya. And kahit anong simpleng galaw ng ambulansya, Sobrang ramdam na ramdam nung uh, construction worker yung page sumisigaw siya, it's unbearable for him. And you know what's surprising about it is that when he arrived in the hospital, when the doctors removed the boots, the steel boots, and the, and the nail, they were surprised because the nail, it didn't touch the foot of the construction worker. So can you imagine, hindi tumama sa paa niya, hindi man lang siya nasugatan, pero yung pain and feel niya, parang nasugatan talaga siya. So imagine, your mind can actually tell your body to actually feel the pain. That's how powerful your mind is, guys. So you need to be very careful. Nowadays, you need to be very careful of what you feed in your mind, what you put in your mind, especially with what is happening in the news right now. You need to be very, very careful, careful, ladies and gentlemen, what you consistently put your focus and your attention on to keep your body you know, healthy, to keep your immune system boost up. So, I hope guys may nakuha kayong mga nuggets at marami kayo natutulang ngayon. If you, if you, uh, you know, learn from this video, feel free to share this to your relatives. Feel, feel free to share this to your friends and your people, your, your leaders in empowered consumerism. And uh, watch out for more because mahaba-haba at medyo malalim pa itong ating mental health. So, I have more episodes for you. So, watch out for more episodes because uh, we will be talking about uh, how to control naman your consciousness, how to control your thoughts. No, so dami ng despite of what is happening in this world right now, what have, what negativism is happening, you can control your thoughts. You can control your thoughts, so you can control your life. You can control your consciousness, your power of awareness. And of course, we'll be talking about conscious mind and subconscious mind. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan. So again, watch out for more, more videos. Again, guys, stay home. Stay healthy, keep your mind and body and soul healthy. And of course, don't forget, God loves you, the company loves you, and I love you.
Bye.